Welcome to Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton. Hi, I'm Connor Williams, back with another one of our player reviews. Uh, and today it is on Yeri Mina. Um, Yeri Mina, obviously, open to discussion. I think his contract expires next season. There was a bit of discussion on whether we cash in now and sell him or we keep him. Um, and I'll be giving my overall season review of him anyway, um, as well as my thoughts on it. Um, <clears throat> So this season alone, he has played 13 games in the Premier League. Uh, he's also played one in the FA Cup and uh, one in the EFL. Um, obviously, both Frank Lampard and Rafa Benitez uh, heavily rotated squads. Um, so we'll have a look at his stats for the Premier League this season. Uh, he started 11 of those games, was sub only subbed in for two, was subbed out for three. Played about 846 minutes. Uh, three yellow cards. <clears throat> Apologies. Uh, yeah, you got three yellow cards, no red cards, which is quite good. Um, total passes, 356. Uh, he's attempted 12 tackles, won 10 of them, so his tackle percentage is very good this year. 37 clearances, 11 interceptions. Um, overall, he's had a good... Um, those stats suggest he's had a good season. Um, the best game I think I've seen him play this season was going to have to be Chelsea. I um, believe the Leeds game was, it might have been last season, the Leeds game, otherwise I'd have said that, uh, where he's marking Bamford. If it is this season, I apologise, this season's been very long. Um, but if it's not that Leeds game where he marked Bamford all game and frustrated Bamford, then it's probably the Chelsea game for a similar reason. He absolutely drove Havertz wild. Um, it's mental. The fellas, I, I really like Yeri Mina as well, by the way. Um, I There's not enough um, superlatives for how good of a footballer he is and a defender, not just physically, but the mental battle as well inside him, the way he gets into players' heads and frustrates the players. Um, my only criticism is, is that his body is so, so fragile. I think he might have Weetabix legs. He never, ever can stay very fit. And when they are injuries, they're not just niggles, they're out for a bit of a while. Obviously, this season, he's had a manager that I think's mismanaged him awfully. When Rafa Benitez brought him back from injury, out of spite because he didn't want to use Luca Dean as a substitute, that was horrendous. And Yeri Mina ended up paying the cost for a stubborn manager. Um, so he has my you know sympathies for this. But, but, but Yeri Mina's injuries didn't just start this season. They didn't just come in with Rafa Benitez. They won't leave with Rafa Benitez. He, I do believe he is prone to injury um, and it's such a shame that Chelsea game I'm on about he got two blocks four clearances three headed clearances one interception five recoveries uh, he won all of his ground duels won half of his aerial duels um, which you'd hope he would at the size he is and he was actually fouled three times but committed zero fouls bearing in mind like I said he was up against Havertz and he kept Havertz so quiet all game um, it was absolutely wonderful to watch um, it's just his body, isn't it? It's such, I absolutely hate um, going about him, like, like saying his body's injury prone and stuff, but it is because he'd be such a great player without, and he's a good player. We want him to, you know, I think Duncan Ferguson's made him captain in that Villa game. I really want him to be that leader. Uh, he did play well in that game as well. I really want him to be that leader, um, but my but like, how can you lead from the medic table? You've got to be out there with them, sort of, you know, out on the trend in the trenches with them, and you can't do that from the side. He was also a massive personality. You saw that tunnel cam where they're all waiting for him. He seems to be a lovely fella that everyone absolutely radiate. You know, he radiates good energy, and everybody bounces off him. Richarlison and him got quite the relationship, quite the friendship as well, which is nice to see. Um, I really like him uh, this season. I'm going to give him. Uh, it sounds a bit. I uh, bear in mind the season we've had. I'm going to give him a seven. Um, just because when he's been fit, he's been very, very good. I'd probably give him a 7.4 if we're doing points. Uh, but I'd give, I'll give him a solid 7. The games I've seen this season, uh, I would say he's in his 7s for a lot of them. There's only a couple of games where I thought you've been below par. After that, he's, he's mostly been a solid 7er. Um, he's, I, I'm not going to lower him because of his injuries because, I mean, it can't really help that. It's not that he's not a good player. He's just absolutely injured. Um, and if he's not playing, I can't judge him badly for that. Um, but I will give him a seven. I think he's a very solid player. 
I would love it if we could figure out how to keep him fit and I wouldn't sell him and offer him a new contract, then I'd keep him. But if it's going to be the same next year, then we clearly need another centre-back and that could mean we have to cash in on Yerry Mina. Uh, I'll be good to see him go, but um, I do think that he's not the only uh, really good defender. He is a really good defender, but he's not the only one. And if he's not reliable, then it's going to be a struggle to, you know, for a player of his calibre and ability, you, you want to be dependent on players of that high of an ability and he's just not dependable. Um, but that's all we've got for Yerry Mina. Um, solid 7 out of 10. I think he's had some great games this season. A shout out to the Brentford game as well. Um, 4-1-1, he played really well in that. Absolutely great defender. I couldn't I couldn't give him more positives uh, as, a, as a player. Uh, my only negative is literally that his body absolutely crumbles. And it's such a shame. Uh, don't forget to like the video, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And comment down below your thoughts on Yerry Mina. What you think about him overall. Um, it's solid. Give me his, your rating for him. Um, and tell me, do you think we should sell him this season or do you think we should hold on? Pray to God that we get medical teams that are literally Jesus levels of healing powers. Um, and we revive uh, Yerry Mina every time he's down and he just plays. If he could play half, uh, well, not half, he could play three quarters of the games of a season. That'd be fantastic. Um, you know, he doesn't have to play the Cups necessarily if we get another centre-back in. But if he could play the majority of the Prem games, that would be ideal. And um, when you look at all the good sides, they normally have the defenders stay. You know, you look at City, Ruben Diaz plays a lot of games for them. Liverpool, Van Dijk plays a lot of games for them. Uh, they're the stalwarts in that defence, um, unless they're injured. Uh, but you can see when they're not playing uh, how much more they lack it. And Yerry Mina is our sort of big, solid man, but he's never fit. But yeah, like I said, let me know your thoughts down below and I'll see you guys very soon.